channel I'm Lady Nika in with a let's chat about it honey we're gonna talk a little politics we're gonna talk a whole lot of entertainment and we're just gonna run it okay I'm gonna try not to hold you long because this is something I wanted to do yesterday live but my son had other plans so he couldn't help me out the way I needed him to with uh, a new camera that I got the weekend but here I am, nevertheless, to talk shit and swallow spit. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How was your weekend? I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you're having a decent start to your uh, work week. Troubles don't last always for those of you who might be going through. Just keep holding on, and eventually, whatever it is that's going on in your life is going to work itself out. Weeping endures a night. But joy comes in the morning, and it, it's going to come, girl. It's going to come. Just hang in there. I know it seems like you might feel like the weight of the world is laying strictly upon your shoulders. But know that, no, it's not. Because nothing that we can't bear is ever put upon us. And really, to be honest with you, the battle ain't even nice. We ain't got to fight it. All we got to do is call in for our help. That's on the main line, 24-7, 365 days a week. I mean, a year, 52 weeks in a year. Yeah, he on the he on the main line, 24 hours a day. All you got to do is just call him, you know. But here I am, nevertheless, to do the uh, to do the last chat. Before I begin into the subjects that I'm gonna talk about, know that a everything that I want to talk about will not be on this video because I gotta say something for folks here Friday because it look like it's gonna be a slow ass week. But you never know. Shit might pop up. Um, secondly, um, we have seven days left that you can get in and get your vote counted for Bianca Brooks to become Luster's new face of pink. It's a campaign she's been running for a couple of weeks now. And we have seven more days. And then the, the voting will end. All you have to do is look down in my description box. And I will link. I will give you a direct link to go over and insert your ballot email address, and you can vote for her. And you can vote every every one of these seven days we got left, long as you do it within a 24-hour period. You vote at three. You got on Monday. You got to vote at three on Tuesday. That's how it is. But um, I'm asking each and every love thing to please cast your vote for Bianca Brooks to be Luster's new face of pink. Now, child, let's move into subjects, because I guess it plan, it pays to plan ahead, even your fume, huh? even your fume, because that's exactly what Senator John McCain did. His dying wish is that pre your president, 45, stay away from his funeral. He battling brain cancer, and those close say he already told the White House they plan to invite Vice President Pence, but not the president. This was all reported by the New York Times this past Saturday. In 2015, this argument ensued between McCain and Trump when Trump basically said that McCain was not a war hero, even though we know that he was a prisoner of war and served. So with him saying that, I can imagine how that must make that man feel. And he, he tell you about it in his book, uh, Restless Wave, where he detailed his many sparring matches with Trump as well as admitting that he chose the wrong person to run with when he did his bid for the presidency. He, you remember he chose Sarah Palin. He said he should have went with Senator Joseph Lieberman. Um, but that's one of his many mistakes he's made, and he'll talk about it more in depth in the book, okay? To me, Trump is so disrespectful. He disrespectful. He basically a damn fool, if you ask me. You you can't even, you're not even in a position to question someone patriotism because did you ever serve or did you hide behind privilege? Hmm. Child, that's all I got to say about him, really, because I, I kind of detoxed a little bit the last couple of days from CNN, but I did catch that story because I was down to the uh, New York, um, the New York Times, I was reading the article online, and I thought that was like, damn, you know, people just don't want you. We know he wasn't at Barbara Bush film. Melania was, and, and you know what? That woman looked, and this is sad, that woman looked more happy at the film for Barbara Bush than he did, than she ever looked. And 
the time I've been seeing her. She looked miserable at the inauguration. <laughs> She's looked miserable when they go on these trips. He be trying to touch her and she don't want it. Girl, I'm telling you, that lady really know. She put herself in a very precarious situation because she with a motherfucker she can't stand. And I don't blame her. But see, that's what you get when you go looking for money. See, you don't never know what brick you might uh turn over and it snatch your ass in. Like the you know, like get out the sunken plate. Yeah, that's what she had. Poor thing look just disgusted. But I did appreciate seeing her do a live press conference yesterday. I ain't never seen her speak publicly before, really. She was talking about bullying and things like that. And, you know, the initiatives that she planned on taking as first lady to bring an end to bullying. Beautiful subject. I had to watch it a couple of times because the English was throwing me off. You know, it's broken because she a Russian. And I just listened to her. I'm like, girl, you, you're doing what you really don't want to do. She don't give a damn about this. She would rather be somewhere away from Donald with her child Baron living her best good life. And had you not chosen to get in bed with a snake, you would be doing all of that, girl. Bless your heart and his too. In other news, because we ain't going to waste time with him, Janet Jackson will receive the 2018 Billboard Icon Award, and she will perform as well. And I'll be watching. It's a well-deserved honor for her. Very well-deserved honor, so... Congratulations to Janet, and I'll be watching. I don't review that, though. But if she bring it, I might, girl, I might. Now, let's talk a little bit about DJ Khaled. Boy, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Now, he did this uh, video, well, interview with The Breakfast Club, and he volunteered a little bit too much info, if you ask me. He said a woman should please a man if he handling the business. He said he not going down on his woman, and he ain't never went down on a woman, and he ain't going down on a woman. And he said he she can't she don't have the same option. He's the king, and in the book of his mind, she's supposed to service him, especially when he holding it down for her, her family, and everything is good. Now. When I first heard that shit, that thing rang down in my spirit. I said, she a better bitch than me. Ain't no motherfucking way. Because that's selfish. And that, 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 that's just, that's distasteful. It's hell. First of all, you didn't even have to give that much information about what goes on within the confines of your bedroom with you and your wife. You ain't got to tell nobody that. They didn't ask you that. But you decided to tell them that, and you said and it said it in an arrogant-ass way, which lets me know that you ain't the sweetie that you seen. You look like a big old cuddly telly, teddy bear on TV. Even though I do think y'all need to let that baby get some rest sometime. I, I totally agreed with Matt and him on that, but I always thought she was a nice person. But I look at you differently now because how would you feel if she was the breadwinner and she came on a show and said, you please her, but she ain't pleasing your ass. And that's how it's supposed to be because she the queen of the castle and she holding it down for you and your family. So you supposed to do that. You know... For his fat ass to even be able to say that is amazing. He ought to be, if he didn't have that money and he didn't have that little clout behind his name, she wouldn't be sucking his fat ass D. Who in the fuck wants to have to lift your damn stomach up? Do you know what kind, no wonder she always working out. That bitch better. Because he expect her to hold up all of that damn stomach and, and risk her life. Because if that stomach, if she so happened to her arm get weak, bitch, and, and she that arm get weak and go like this, she a dead motherfucker. At, least she, at the very least, she going to need some uh, EMS care. That stomach going to kill her ass. And the only reason why he had, he, he's got the balls 
to say that is because he know who he is and he know that she's got accustomed to this lifestyle he's provided for her. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. You can be a gozillionaire and I am going to get mad or you ain't going to get yours. And you just have to send my ass back to New Orleans, baby, because I did not like that. And then what it really pissed me off is if y'all pay attention to this man, they always ragging on her fucking looks. They always say that she, she ain't as bad a bitch as Callie could get. They always call her ugly, saying she's strong in the face and all of that. For him to get on a radio show as big as the Breakfast Club and to basically say that that woman um, pleases him, but he ain't going down on her. What you think the trolls doing? And they've been doing since the interview. They going in on her, calling her all kinds of shit, saying her pussy stank. She look like she stank. She ugly. It, it, you gave them ammunition to come at your wife crazy. All because you got this, I don't know what kind of mindset you got. Nigga, you sound like you was back in the, the 50s or some shit with that. You got on a nationally syndicated show and said that you go, you don't eat your wife. You don't please her that way. You hold it down in other areas. Girl, I be cheating on him like a motherfucker. You got enough of his money to hide it. Because any fat motherfucker say some shit like that, the only reason why he's saying it because he bred it. If he wasn't bred it, he'll be eating pussy, licking ass, sucking toes, and everything else. Because he ain't no, it ain't no, ain't no demand for no fat motherfucker. And I can say that because I'm a fluffy motherfucker. Girl, that was disrespectful as fuck. I would have cussed his ass the fuck out as soon as he walked up through that door. That's why I should be yelling at him. Mm. I ain't the one for this shit. Mm, 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 mm. Ain't no way in hell a fat mother. Just imagine. He be out here in the sun, moving around, matriculating. It's got to be sweating up under there. Girl, imagine if he come home and he feeling like he ain't sweated too much and he want her to do something. Girl, he will not smother me. He ain't going to take me. Girl, don't let that man kill you trying to get him no dick sucking. I know it's a challenge. I know it's got to be like the wheel and the tic tac uh, analogy that Samora gave us years ago or whatever her name, Adele. That fat motherfucker said it did, y'all. Then, I got a story that I'm going to have to come back to because somebody sent me a, a a clip of the University of Florida apologizing for aggressively dragging graduates off the stage during the commencement program. Now, I don't know too much about that. I'm going to have to research that. I don't want to jump out here and say something and then got to come back and retract later. But I did get it, and I will check into it, and it'll be a part of Fuck Shit Friday. Now, let's talk Emily being fabulous. She back with him. Who's surprised? You know how many battered women go back to their abusers? She gonna go back until she had enough, or they put their bag or put her ass in a bag. I'm not surprised she went back to that man because she's a woman who don't know her worth. She want what she want, and she want him so bad. She willing to deal with him in any capacity. Right now, he's making uh heart shaped faces that are on her in, on down on Instagram over under her picture, saying she beautiful and all of that. I bet she is with them new teeth you bought her. Child, I wasn't surprised. But at the end of the day, that lady got to learn how to take care. She got to learn how to love herself. And until she do, she going to accept whatever come her way. She want that man to be her husband by any means necessary. And that bitch mean it. By any means necessary. You can knock me out of my head. You can knock my teeth out. You can threaten my family. Bitch, I love you. I'm so grateful that I have sense enough to know that that is not love at all. That ain't even how love goes. 
<laughs> that ain't how it go, girl. But I wish her luck on staying with her, her abuser. Okay? Tokyo Tony, you are able-bodied bitch. Now, I know that when our kids grow up and we done sacrifice or whatnot would for them, but I don't even think you sacrificed. Didn't her grandma raise her? I don't know. That's Black China's mom. But I say this: when we when, I, when we raise our children, they grow up and they do something spectacular for themselves. Only thing you're supposed to do is be proud of the work that you did to make this phenomenal person come to fruition. If they buy you a home, buy you a car, or whatever, then that is just gratuity on top of the gratuity that you won't be feeling as a mom because they appreciated you doing whatever it was that you did in the rearing of them to get them to this place of success that they are in. That does not mean that your mother has to take care of you. There is nothing wrong with you. Now, if you want to see your grandkids, maybe that's what you should just say. I want to see my grandchildren. But for you to make the world um, look at her crazy because you constantly getting on Instagram on your live saying how all this stuff she won't do for you. You wanted $30 for some food and she wouldn't, she wouldn't give it to you. Mama, let me tell you something. They don't owe us nothing. But respect. If my kids... When they get through going through their trials and tribulations and finishing school, if they go on to be great, I'm going to be proud of the fact that I instilled in them something that got them to this greatness. But at no time will I ever make them feel like they're obligated to take care of me. You don't even know what type of financial situation she may be in because she ain't got that Kardashian money like she used to have it. Yeah, dream get a check, but girl, the way she do and run through money and make bad investments you don't know what her situation might be and then they saying she's pregnant for the late 10 yo i just feel like as a mother why would you get on social media and air your daughter out like that that is too deep you just airing her out if you really want to show her that you don't need her you'll get up off your ass on your feet and get you a brand of your own. I heard somebody say that they would like to see your ass on uh, reality TV. I think that was the Queen Supreme Court last night with Tokyo Vanadown. Go get your own. Stop expecting your daughter because her push done got her around celebrity and, and big high dollar uh, dig. Go do the same thing. I mean, you the one taught her. Dabble don't fall apart from the tree. Go get you some old dick with some money if that's what you want to do. Or better yet, why don't you change your life and just really get your shit together. Because as a grandmother, you do a whole lot of shit that I wouldn't do and I'm a grandmother. I done already told y'all. I will, Girl, I'm, when I tell you the New Orleans come come completely out of my ass. When I hear an old nasty beat I like. But y'all will never see that. I'm not going to let nobody put me on camera doing something that's going to be embarrassing to my children or my grandkids. Are you fucking retarded? That's like a bitch like me saying, okay, I'm going to go do porn. Now, I probably could make good money. But is it worth it? I know I can make good money. Because I'm a beast at my shit. But I'm just saying, do you think that I would do that? She don't owe you to. She don't owe you that. She don't owe you that. She don't gotta take care of you at all. She gotta do a damn thing for you. You is just like Ashley, Mama. Let's since I'm talking about these Potomac holes, let's talk about them right quick. I don't watch the show all the time. I should have reviewed it because I do watch it enough to keep this fucking conversation going. So I'm gonna tell you what I got out of last week uh, Sunday episode. Karen, Ray not talking to Karen. The, uh. Because you feel like he's trying to protect you, Karen. He might not be talking to you because he's feeling a way about the situation. Maybe he already know what he going to do. We don't know. But I'm so sick and tired. Girl, help him if you want to. Help your man. You got this Real Housewives of Potomac um, chick coming through. You say you done stashed money over the years. So from various situations you done been in. Help him if he want to. But I am so sick and tired of hearing about y'all financial woes. Y'all are not... Obviously, you the rich kind of broke. You ain't the Pope type of broke. 
me and you, we don't know the same bro. You know one level of bro, and I know a totally different other one. We come from different backgrounds. That's the reason why it's bald and you so damn bad. If I said I was broke, I'd be like, okay, bitch, what? Okay. And I'm working to fix that. So, what the fuck are you talking about? Shit don't make sense to me. I'm just sick of that damn. And you ain't had no job on it, the one you had at 17 at Taco Bell. You need your ass with for that. Girl, you know what? You could be pretty. But like I tell my daughters all the time, pretty don't last long. It really don't. Candace, I like how you gather uh, Giselle and Cherise, but mama, you watched the show before you signed up for it, and you know you can't tell these women all your damn business because they're going to they gonna find a way to make it the worst of the worst. You know that. You sit here and tell these old ass aging bitches that probably used to be beautiful and they prime and they looking at your young prime uh, tender ass and you sitting here telling them all your tea, they gonna turn that shit around on you just like they tried to. Ashley, you spending $4,500 a month on your mama and the bum. But both them bums. Your mama able about it. I don't blame you. gonna wind up living with your mama and her boyfriend in that house that you let Michael pay for for y'all. Because that man ain't gonna keep wanting to take care of you. He probably don't take care of his own family like that. Now, I, don't, I think that he would help if they were in a situation. But for $4,500 of that man money to come out of his account every month for a bitch he ain't fucking and a bum-ass nigga, you got to be out your damn rabbit, girl. You're going to be over there in the divorce section, okay? Money drinking is not going to help you through dealing with you losing your child. I understand miscarriages are everything. Everybody handle their grief differently. But... Mama drinking ain't going to take away the pain. It's going to numb it. But when you come from up under that drum, that same pain will remain there. And then you're going to have to top of that pain with guilt because you know it ain't right what you're doing. So, she need to do something about that. And uh, speaking of old bitties, Giselle, have you, out, have you over pussy Sherman to the point he acting funny with you now? Good. Cut that out. Cut that out. Cut that shit out. Uh, mm, let me see if I touched everything I feel like talking about because this is 20, 22 minutes now. Um, oh, I have a question of the day. And this is just something I saw on the shade room. And I might start doing question of the day for every week. You know, we just instead of being question of the day, question of the week. And I'm on, I'm going to try that and see what this going to do. I saw it on the shade room. It was a good question to me, so I'm going to pose it to you all. Question of the week this week is, do you believe in once a cheater, always a cheater? Or do you believe that the person can learn from their mistake and do better? Let me know what y'all think about all of that. Like I said, I didn't talk about everything I'm going to talk about because I got to have something for Fuck Shit Friday. And it seemed like this might be a slow week. So, I'm going to go on and end it there. If I didn't talk about something that me and you probably talked about in the inbox or something like that, then we will talk about that shit later, okay? Because we're going to talk about the little boy in the, in, in, in the store that, that, you know, mama had him on a leash and he was out there still cutting up, tearing up shit in the store. We're going to talk about all that shit, bitch. We got some shit to talk about this week. So, I, we're going we're gonna to save it. We're going to save it because we got to have a fuck shit prior to video. But y'all let me know the answer to the question of the week. Remember to look in the description box and vote for Bianca Brooks. And I will see you guys back tomorrow for uh, tonight's Have and Have Nots. I'll be back on Wednesday, Have and Have Nots review. And if I feel like talking about something else, we're going to do this shit too, okay? Y'all remember the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. Um, and I'll see y'all asses tomorrow. Peace.